Hey everyone, Morgan Heitzma with Scott Leroy Marketing, and today we're going to show you how to import a database into your KW command system. So I'm right here on the signed in screen, and I'm going to go ahead and enter my KW username and password here. And then we're going to go ahead and click sign in. Once we sign in here, we're brought to our KW command homepage, and we're going to go ahead and click on the red KW square on the top left hand corner and make our way to contacts here going to be second from the top. Once inside of our command contacts, up on the top right hand corner you should see a button labeled import. It should be uh, right next to your add contact button. And if we give import a click here, it should give you a pop-up that says download a pre-made command template file as well as a link right here. Once we go ahead and click this download template link, it should give us a download at the bottom here. And we can go ahead and give this a click to view this a little more. Now within this uh, template sheet right here, we have two rows and these rows will need to remain exactly as they are in order for the command template to be imported and read correctly. So be sure not to change these around. Don't rearrange these. Just pretend that these uh, are unchangeable right here. And we'll start off on number three. As you see right here, it asks for your first name, middle name, last names, prefixes, suffixes, uh, and uh, as well as the full legal name. So we're going to go ahead and copy your old database and then just paste it right here. Same thing with middle name and last name and so on. Now I have a form here that we've already kind of filled out to kind of show us what this looks like a little bit easier. So within this form right here, scroll all the way over to the side, we have all of our first names that have been entered individually. We didn't have any middle names for these contacts, so we moved over to the last names. As you see, the last names are entered as well. And we move over here to our prefix and suffixes, and we don't have any information on that either, but we do have that full legal name, which is the first name and the last name combined. Moving over here, we also have our about, our birthdays, our home anniversaries, and our cell phone numbers. Now, one thing is uh, that's important to keep in mind is that when we move over to the phone numbers, the addresses, and the email addresses, uh, these are going to require primary information. So is the uh, home phone number going to be the primary phone number or is the cell phone number going to be the primary number? So this is what's going to uh, determine what KW command is going to use uh, when we're reaching out to your contacts here. So. As you see right here, when we start to hit cell phone from J onward, you should have on the right hand side, um, basically a question saying, is this going to be the primary info for this individual? So as you see right here, Ross Geller, uh, we don't have a phone number for Ross, so let's use Mickey Mouse instead. We have Mickey Mouse's cell phone number right here. Uh, would we like to use Mickey Mouse's cell phone number as their primary? Well. Since we don't have any other information on, on Mickey Mouse when it comes to, to their phone number, we'll go ahead and uh, type a Y right here uh, to indicate that this is going to be the primary phone number for this individual. Now, as you see right here, Donald, Donald Duck has a home phone number and not a cell phone. So we're going to go ahead and mark Donald with a Y right here. So now the KW command system will notice that Mickey's primary phone number is going to be their cell phone and uh, Donald's is going to be their uh, home phone number. And this will work the same across the board as we scroll down here right here. You have a work phone and then it's going to ask if that's the primary that you want to use. It'll have an other phone number and so on. Now once we get to the personal emails uh, as well as the addresses here in a minute, these are going to be very important because uh, this is going to be what's going to be used when you send emails out to your clients. So if your clients have multiple email addresses, it's important to know which email we're going to be placing a Y onto because this is where they're going to receive the bulk of your uh, emails. So let's see that uh, primarily half of our group will use their personal email. So let's put a Y right next to uh, these sections right here. But 
Rachel right here from friends is going to use their work email. So we're going to put a Y right here for them. And as we scroll over here even further, we'll have that primary address as well. So again, uh, the primary address is going to be a few uh, additional sections. But again, you'll have that mark as Y over here. So once it's done with the address, city, state, zip code, uh, then you will have your mark as Y right here. Um, so again, very important to, to state which addresses are uh, marked for primary because this will send out your neighborhood smart plans to, to the information that is on that primary address right here. Now, once you finish uh, filling all this additional information out right here, so you have work, uh, home, vacation, so you have a number of different addresses that you can place in right here, uh, you do have uh, tags. And these tags right here, you can um, tag a number of different tags as you want, as long as you separate them by a comma and a space. So uh, just like you're listing out a number of different items, put out your tag, comma, space, another tag, comma, space, and you should be good to go. If you do not have any um, sections that you're looking for, like a business location, right? Um, you, we can use sources or you can use your tags right here as well. And then last but not least, we have sections for the social media. Now, once you are done filling out this uh, or reformatting this, this import sheet right here, uh, go ahead and give it a, a cross-reference. Important to note that uh, duplicates are caught based off of the primary information, okay? So if you have two Donald Ducks in here and um, they have two of the same phone numbers and we mark them as Y for primary, KW command will indicate that that is a duplicate. However, if you have two Donald Ducks in here and one uses a, uh, say, a home phone number and the other uses a cell phone or a work number, same with addresses, it could... Um, indicate that that is two separate individuals and push that duplicate duplicate through. Um, once we're done here and we like the way that our spreadsheet looks, we can go ahead and click on file up top here, save as, and you may have a number of different uh, save as um, pieces right here. So the one that we're specifically looking for is a text CSV right here. So there may be a few different types of CSV uh, files that you can download as like uh, like UTC-8 or, or something similar. We're looking for the generic CSV. No, no additional information on top of that, just the generic CSV right here. We'll go ahead and hit save. It'll say that it already exists, but that's perfectly fine because we're just converting this over to a CSV format. And then this should be good to go to uh, import. I'll go ahead and minimize this. And what you'll see right here is this drag to drop to upload. If I click browse right here, you should see this uh, SLM sheet right here. I can open it up and it should give us an indication that it is being uploaded. And then uh, it gives you some important rules right here to follow. So contacts must have unique phone numbers and email addresses. Duplicates will not be imported, what we just uh, went over. Uh, first name is the minimum info needed to import a contact. So even if you don't have a last name, you still must have a first name in order to appear here on the name section. And then last but not least, if your addresses have leading zeros, uh, for example, um, 03102, format your cells to not hide them. Um, and then we'll go ahead and hit continue right here because everything looks pretty good. Um, you'll have uh, some options right here, some additional info, info. And again, this is just letting you know what that contact card is going to look like if you need to kind of finalize any other sort of info. But again, this is just a great at a glance of what, what these contact cards are going to look like. And all of these are dependent on what I clicked for that, for that Y uh, for that primary info. So I'm going to click finalize and import right here. And let's say your contacts are being imported, depending on your size, it may take a while. So if you have a lot of um, contacts that you need to import, uh, this, will, uh, this may take a moment. But what you should typically see here is if you refresh your page, your notification bell may let you know when your contacts have successfully been imported. So as you see right here, I have a red um, notification bell. It says all of your contacts have been successfully imported. 
uh, you should see your contacts right here. And as you see, I have a lot more contacts that have been imported. Uh, one last thing to check out is if you have any failed contacts or say you have 100 contacts that you were supposed to import but 98 came through, uh, we can check to see what happened to those other two contacts by going and clicking on your name right here and then going to settings. And once you're inside your settings here, go ahead and click on uh, con command settings right here and then my logs. And once you're inside of my logs, you should be able to see imports right here. And this should indicate how many imports have successfully um, been imported and how many uh, contacts have, have failed. If we scroll over here, you should be able to, to download the original file as well as the error file to see uh, what may have caused those to not import. Um, all right, that should be about it when it comes to importing your contacts to your KW command system. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to support at scottleroymarketing.com and we'll be happy to assist you.